am here at the scene of crime. <laughs> Our chickens came in and dug up all of the seeds that I planted the other day. So they dug and they rolled around in these Smart Pot Big Bag Bed Juniors. I just planted spinach and kale and yeah, so now the seeds are all ruined. So now before I go and replant it, I wanted to make sure that I protect these beds. So chickens are actually a lot easier to guard against than regular birds, but we're gonna go over both because while I'm planting these, I wanna make sure that the chickens don't get it and that other wild birds don't come in my garden as well. So as you can see, we've already done one intervention. So we went through and we used these Premier One fencing, the bird fencing, uh, well, it's poultry netting is what they call it. Um, so we put that around this area of our garden and that should keep all of the chickens out. Um, if you haven't seen these before, they have been super handy. Um, we used them a lot this spring and summer and they worked really well. We just hadn't put it around this area yet and well, the chickens took advantage of that. So we got that back up, so that should help against the chickens. So other things that I want to do to protect against the birds, like the wild ones that are flying overhead. So I have a few things that I'm gonna be doing for that as well. Um, the first of which being, I brought it over here just now. I haven't hooked it up or anything yet, but this is our automated sprinkler. So if a bird were to fly into here, this would go off and spray them and scare them away. So works really great for keeping all sorts of pests out of your garden. I mean, it'll work for wild birds. It'll work for a lot of things too. It'll even work for kids. So <laughs> we have fun with that. Um, so this is a really great thing to do. Um, to keep the birds out. Now that should do the trick for us at least, but if we continue to have problems, there's a few other things that we, that we can do or a few other things that you could try to keep those birds out of your garden. Um, so one of which being you can buy some sort of shade cloth or even bird netting. And if you have something like this where you can drape over your, your smart pots, it'll help to protect the plants and it'll keep them off of the plants so your plants can grow. So we made these PVC pipe domes, um, I mean, really easily, obviously from PVC pipe. Um, Dale actually made a video about that um, a couple years ago and I'll link to that down below so you can watch that if you wanna see how that's done. Something else we've done that's actually kind of fun, we buy a fake owl. Um, you wanna make sure you get one where its head wiggles and moves in the wind. Just makes it a little bit more realistic for birds and it can help to scare scare them away. So we buy a, a, a fake owl, put it somewhere in the garden and just kind of just keep moving it around every couple days to help scare the birds away. So another thing that you can do if you happen to have some like old CDs laying around or you can also buy what's called like um, metallic tape and you know just hang some of that around the garden or down here by your uh, by your smart pots or pots or raised beds however and it just kind of helps to like the reflection it helps to scare the birds away because they don't know what that is and they can't really see that well um, with that blinding them so that's something else that you could do to help get them away from certain areas so now that we have this garden protected I'm gonna go through and get these replanted. I'm going to plant some spinach and kale into these uh, Smart Pot Big Bag Bed Juniors. So if you want to see me do that, um, I have a video just from a couple days ago. I'll also link to it in the description. Um, we use uh, square foot gardening, so that's how we do all of these beds. And if you'd like to buy any of these products that I talked about today, we have them listed in our online store at store.seedaspoon.net. I'll list all that down below in the description as well. And if you haven't checked out our free app from Seed to Spoon, make sure you check that out because it'll walk you through growing over 100 different fruits, vegetables, herbs, and it'll talk all about di different pests. So just like birds, like we talked about today, under, under there, if you go to birds, it'll talk all about the different interventions that we talked about today. And you can have follow the links in there as well to buy these products. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.